G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, on yesterday's video, if you did happen to click on it, I promised you a banger fish video. Um, I'm gonna stick to that promise. I am, I promise. Uh, the problem is, right, I'm on holidays from work, and um, I basically got the week off to organise the wedding. Wedding's all organised, and now I'm bored, but I don't have the motivation to do stuff. It's weird, hey? You work like 12 hour a day, come home, smash out a video, do some stuff in the fish room. On holidays for a week, zero work, and uh, I just don't even go in the fish room. I don't know, it doesn't make sense how my brain works. But anyway, let's get stuck into this video. Alright, so I actually made these last week and I took a couple of clips on my mobile phone so we'll just cut to those clips first before I get stuck into the video. Alright guys, I'm actually coming to you from the past and I'm on my mobile. So this is quite a complicated process. I wasn't going to film it but if anybody feels like making this filter I, like, I really want to explain what I did and um, I know this is going to be hard for a lot of people because they're not going to have this sort of stuff in their um, Art itinerary? No. What's the word? In their possession will do. Alright, so I've got a smaller block there than the actual piece. Then I've got a, a block that's the same size. I've got some little sides on it so it actually like centers in. And then I actually need to clamp this down as tight as I can so it really pushes down on that block underneath. Oh my god, vlog of life. Sorry for the camera angle guys, I need two hands. Alright, so now we clamp this as tight as we can. And then the drill. Here's the trick. I've taken the drill bit out of the center because the drill bit just like makes a mess. Trust me. Um, and backwards. We're going completely backwards. Um, that way it doesn't rip it. It's probably more burning it than anything Melting it, but the hole's perfect. So like that's one backwards. I'll show you one forwards um, I learned from my mistakes guys. I didn't just Miraculously figure that out. So you see this one you can see it's actually like ripped the whole center out That's what happens if you go forwards um I even mess around with using like a smaller hole saw. This one is the exact size that I need and it's working. But anyway, I'm going to smash this out guys. Um, and I'll see you, I'll see you in the future. Alright, so on the phone again guys. Um, I'm actually hot melt glue gunning all these together. I do a bit of research, seems to be fish safe. So um, we'll give it a go. I, I might just try one in the tank before I put them all in. Um, I'm not going to film that much of this just because the hot melt glue gun is actually broken and um, it's not really a one handed job. It's doing my head in actually. Um, anybody who works in a workshop you probably understand like every time you go to use a tool it's broken. Nobody's willing to admit to breaking it. But um, I guess that's just life. I don't. Is it just cabinet making, or is it other trades as well? I'm guessing it's all trades. All right. So I've got all those pipes there. I've cut them to length. There's three different lengths there for different purposes. Um, I've got base plates here, which are off sponge filters. I've actually rub, robbed a couple of working sponge filters, but my mate Mike said he has a few for me, so um, I can replace them. Um, well, actually, one of them I don't need to because I just double stacked like two single sponges. But anyway, I actually threw out like a good 50 of these a couple of years ago. Um, now I could actually use them. Ironic that. Um, I am not going to run air stones. I'm actually going to use the um, like the chamber in the bottom of these. Uh, I wasn't going to because sometimes these get clogged and you can't clean them if I glue this together. But... Um, I forgot you can actually take it off like that so 
I'll be able to access it. The only downfall about the filter that I'm building, I won't actually be able to take the jap mat off the pipe. So when I want to wash it, I'll have to keep it on the pipe and just give it a good shake in water. Um, hopefully I can clean it alright. Worst case scenario, I'm thinking if this is hot melt glued onto that, I can actually rip this off and then clean it and then when I go to put it back in, it won't be glued but the hot melt glue will be a snug fit and it will actually stay together. But that's just going to uh, be a trial and error thing. Anyway, I'm going to use some YouTube magic and when I come back these holes are going to be drilled. Alright guys, they're all drilled, that was not fun, but I'll show you a little trick. So, to get all the burrs off, slip a pipe that's bigger over and then I just run it backwards a little bit because slipping it over doesn't get like a back cut on it, if that makes sense. And then get a piece of pipe that's a diameter smaller and you run that up the inside to clean the inside burrs. Now, on this I'm drilling like 13 millimeter holes. Realistically, ideally I would have preferred to drill like 18 to 20 millimeter holes with a hole saw, but uh, my smallest hole saw is like 24 millimeters, which won't actually work on this because this is 25 millimeters. So I just made do with what I have. I used a 12 mil drill bit. I think it's 12. Um, and yeah, it was a bit tedious, like if I had an 18 mil, I could have done a lot less holes, but um, it is what it is, it's done now. Uh, I definitely will buy a hole saw in the future, maybe next time I'm at Bunnings if I remember, 18 mil or somewhere around there, just because I'm always making filters like this, so it'd be good size to have. Alright, so now... Near the top, I'm just drilling a hole big enough for an airline to go through because um, I'm actually going to run the airline on the inside of the pipe just kind of similar to a normal sponge filter really Alright, so a little bit of advice but I don't know, some of you might disagree um, When I make filters, I actually keep my air hoses short on the filter and I put my little tap like this one, I put that near the filter. Uh, it looks a lot neater if you put the taps up the top on the pipe, but the problem is if you've got like 10 fittings up on the on the top um, pipe, you actually can't tell which filter the hose goes to. And um, I just got frustrated with that, so I do it this way now. I know some people get real tedious about that sort of thing, but when your fish room's as busy as mine, you don't notice it. I don't know where, what, mate. Oh, this is going to be fun. <coughs> all right, I'm going to put all these hoses in, and I'll get back to you. Alright, so this is actually a bit of a process. I already I stuffed the first one up and had to pull it apart. So I've got to put the ho air hose through, then put the jack mat on, and then put the base plate on. Really making I'm really making sure I get the base plate all the way on the airline. If I rip the if I rip that off, that airline off accidentally I'm going to be sad so then I'm just going to get them to that stage so the the jap mat is out of the way of the, the uh, cap so when we glue it on we're not gluing the jap mat all right guys what's that game where you like stuck shit it's like the leaning tower of jap mat filters in case you didn't notice the reason I'm picking them up off the ground is because I already stacked them like this and uh I was trying to get a, a video and it fell over, so turns out not that stable. Anyway, let's figure out how to glue these base plates in. Alright, so I did one off camera just as a bit of a test run. Because this hot milk glue gun 
is actually broken. It's got no trigger. Oh, why is there already glue on there? I must have spilled some on there. So, um... I just do it like that. And then... Oh, it's a bit hard with the camera in, my, in between me. Get some up nice and high on there. And then just let the gravity take the glue down onto the base plate. Um, so there, you don't act, oh where is the camera? You don't actually see that, so. Oh, that's not straight. Uh, that one's not straight, my bad. I'm gonna do the rest off camera so I can concentrate a bit more. All right, so we're pretty much done, guys. Then it's just a matter of sliding that base plate in. Boom. Push that sponge down to the base plate. Keep, make it square just because it looks neater. Um, job done. Let's get a thumbnail, guys. <laughs> I might use a bigger one for a thumbnail. Wait there, I'll be back. All right, so I've got a bigger one. How far do we have to go back? About, what do you reckon? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Angle the camera down a bit. This is some behind the scenes action, guys. What do you reckon? That one for a thumbnail. And then you gotta hold it like away from your body. So you get that full effect so that it looks bigger than it actually is. You know, like when people hold the fish up when they catch the fish. Uh, yeah, I'm just being an idiot. I really am. All right, so. Uh, this video is probably getting pretty long, so I'm going to end it up there. Tomorrow's video, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to set these up and put these all in tanks. Wait. Stay. Um, so, that's going to take me quite a while, even just to set these up in tanks. So, I'm going to make that its own video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how well these are going to work. I kind of want to sit down and work out how many square meters of jap mat is in each one. So that way I can work out how many liters per square meter per rada ra. And um, actually tell how much water I'm filtering with these things. Um, obviously that will only be a guesstimate. But um, I'm really excited to see if the tall ones polish that 8 foot tank over there. Because the biggest one um, is going in the 8 foot. Oh no, the biggest one's going in the IBC. The second biggest one, which is only one piece smaller, so it's only like 40 mil shorter, that's going in the eight foot up there, which is looking pretty shitty at the moment. So uh, I'm excited to see if that improves it. And then I think all the rest, the little ones, are gonna go in the nine foots in the fish room. Or uh, one of them six foot. It, but you know which ones I mean, the, the, the new tanks. They're not that new anymore, but they're still kind of new. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up there guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button down there. It would really help me out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.